As light and bubbly as the turbulent waters of the Richelieu River, Blanche de Chambly is a tribute to the men who settled the region where it is brewed. A long time ago, in the days of the colony of Nouvelle-France, Jacques de Chambly, a young captain sent on a mission by King Louis XIV, settled down with his regiment to build a stronghold on the banks of the Richelieu River. The site was strategic, the route was critical, the mission vital. The region was dangerous. Flowing down from Lac Champlain toward the St. Lawrence River, the Richelieu was the main north-south trading route between Nouvelle-France and New Amsterdam, the prosperous and promising town that would become New York City. The plains spread far and wide around the Richelieu. Only a few nameless hills seemed to be on guard, watching over the vast wilderness. The young captain and his faithful soldier from Carignan Salier Regiment were on a mission to protect access to the new town of Montreal and to bring feeling of security to the new settlements. The Iroquois were always attacking them. It was perilous work, but they were brave men. The Iroquois hadn't yet agreed to keep the peace with the enemy. Captain de Chambly decided to erect the first wooden barricade on favorable land at the mouth of the rapids flowing into a basin that will later be named after him. It was a warm, peaceful summer. The fort hadn't yet become the imposing stone citadel that would frustrate the adversary during the war against the English. As they cleared trees to make way for the fort's enclosure, the men of the Carignan Salier regiment uncovered welcoming, fertile land and decided to cultivate it. The warriors became farmers and began to colonize their region they were meant to pacify. In just a few years, peace became a reality. In 1667, Jacques de Chambly signed an historic treaty with the Iroquois. Thanks to his key role as a peacekeeper, he was able to create a prosperous community on both banks of the Richelieu. As a reward, he was named the Regent's Seigneur. His soldier decided to settle permanently in the area and to stay on the land that they had cleared and protect, the land they now called home. Blanche de Chambly is brewed in honor of those Frenchmen who came in America to defend the king's lands. Descended from Gaulish ale, as fresh and light as the Belgium white beers that inspired it, Blanche de Chambly is named after the place where it was created according to tradition.